Hi, welcome to Ex-Boyfriend Recovery. My name is Jennifer Sider. I'm one of the coaches at Ex-Boyfriend Recovery and also Chris's wife. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about when your ex starts dating someone new and why you shouldn't panic. But before we begin, I want you to hop over to exboyfriendrecovery.com to take our two minute quiz to find out what your chances are of getting your ex back. We have a link in the description below so that you can take that quiz very easily. If your ex starts dating someone new, I don't want you to panic. It is actually my favorite type of client to work with because almost all of my success stories have involved another man or another woman in the dating situation. So I don't want you to think that this is going to be a, a big setback for you, because it's not, and I have some different tips for you to cope with it. I've had a lot of clients come to me feeling exactly how you're feeling right now. You're probably feeling heartbroken and you feel like you'll never get him or her back, but my goal for the end of this video is to make you feel more secure and a little bit better about this situation and relieve that anxiety and I don't want you to panic anymore. So let's get to it. Tip number one, go on dates. I want you to go on dates so you can realize that the dating world isn't what it's cracked up to be. So if your ex is dating, he's gonna go through the same struggles that you are. You're gonna notice that people that you're meeting, you don't have a lot in common or you're just not connecting and he's doing the same thing or she's doing the same thing. Um, if he is or she is in a rebound relationship, realize that rebound relationships rarely last. Um, usually they only last three to six months. Tip number two, live in the present. I don't want you to be thinking about the past because that's only gonna bring regret and depression. And I don't want you to live in the future because that hasn't happened yet. I want you to live in the present. You can't change the past and you can't change what happened in the breakup as of right now and you can't focus on the future because it's just gonna bring you anxiety. So don't worry about what they're doing. Let's focus on you. Tip number three, distract yourself. Um, it is really important that you're focusing on yourself instead of your ex. So what you should really do is try a new hobby like rock climbing or a strategy game like chess. You'll be thinking about your next move instead of thinking about your ex. Tip number four, technology detox. I want you to take 24 hours away from your phone, away from the TV, away from any social apps. This will help prevent you from social stalking your ex, and it also has been proven that technology uh, disrupts the body's melatonin, and that's not good because then you won't be able to sleep at night, and that'll just add on to your anxiety and depression. Tip number five, forest bathing. What is that? Well, in Japan, Japanese officials have spent $4 million studying the effects of being around trees. It actually has lowered anxiety significantly. So you can use that to your advantage. Go out today, go to a park, and bring your friends and have a picnic or go on a nature walk. Just being around trees is gonna help you significantly stop thinking about your ex and refocus your attention on nature. So those are some tips to help you reduce your anxiety and help you stop panicking about your ex. If you wanna learn more tips, come visit us at exboyfriendrecovery.com. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much, I'll see you next time.